everybody, MagusX here, the Volatile Gamer, and uh, I had a question, someone's having a hard time getting the launch.bat for the Tekix server uh, configured properly, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys today exactly how to install the Tekix server. So first, Google it up again, you're going to Technipack website. So just while I'm waiting, there's four things you're going to need, and I had them right here. You need the actual Tekix launcher, so you have the game, obviously. Uh, you need the Tekix server file, which we're going to get here in a second. You need Hamachi, and you definitely need Java installed as well. Um, actually, there's going to be a fifth thing. I didn't mention this before. You need to have a premium account to get this method to work, including what I said in my previous video. All those things you need a premium account for. I'm not sure if there's a way to do it on cracked accounts or not. Um, I haven't really looked into that. So good luck if you do need it in that route. All right, so let's continue. So we're right here. We need the Technic Launcher. I showed you yesterday how to get that, and uh, you also need Tekic. So if you're not that far, if you don't have the launcher yet, I have a video. I'm going to put the link in the description. You can check it out, and it kind of goes over some of this stuff already. So once again, we're going to click here to get the 3.0.4 server. Oh, here we are. And you could go ahead and save that to your desktop. Probably makes it easier. Unless you have your own place, that's fine. So it doesn't take long to install at all. Okay, so we're at our desktop now. Make a new folder and you call it whatever you like. Tekix server example. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we're going to put that in. Now, you still need the zipping file for this, so that's RAR Labs. Also, a link in, I could throw it in this one too, or whatever, but you should already have this stuff, really. So go ahead and open that up, and we're going to throw everything in here, in this new folder here that we made. Once again, don't include those double dots. So now we have that. Now this zip file, you could keep it right here in case you ever need it again, delete it. doesn't actually have to be here, so if I wanted to get rid of that, it still works the same. Now, this is where you could have some issues. Um, sometimes it works no problem for me. Like here, it's working fine. But I've had times where there is an issue with the Java. So before we really uh, do that, I'm just going to show you again Java. Um, it, all you have to do is Google Java, J-A-V-A, -A, just like that. And uh, this is in my previous video, so I'm not going to do that again for you. Now, a little note on Java. If you, like you're trying to decide if you need 32 or 64 or if you're not sure one you need to have the actual 64-bit operating system and uh, if you don't have any more than four gigabytes of RAM there's no point of getting 64 so if you have four or if you have four more get the 64-bit and the 32-bit but if you have any less than four just get the 32-bit because you can't actually allocate or use more than um, let's say three and a half gigs of RAM without having 64-bit so uh, that it, it works with the Java too so um, let's see so you should already have that anyways now this is where we could get have some issues so what you're gonna do go back to your folder here and you're gonna click on the launch.bat go into edit. Now this is where you're having a problem. This just Java, that part of the code sometimes works but sometimes doesn't. So if that's not working for you, here's what you're going to do. You're going to go into my computer and you're going to go into your C drive or whatever your main drive is. Now here I have two different program files. Um, this one here is for the 32-bit. There is the 32-bit Java in here and if you're going the 64-bit route then you, and you have a 64-bit operating system, just click on the normal program files. And here's what you're going to do. So I'm just going to use 64-bit. It's the exact same thing if you got to use the 32, so just follow along. Open that up. Open that up again. And then you're going into bin. But uh, now that you have that, I'm just going to show you what I did there. Click on the top and go ahead and cut that. Control x is what I use. And you're going to put that right here in front okay so now you have the actual um, link I guess you could say to a path rather and just add that uh, backward slash there the one right above your shift or, or right shift and now you also need to add quotations because there is spaces in between program and file so you need quotations at the beginning right before the C and at the end you're just going to type in dot exe and then add your quotation so now you have the whole path to your Java instead of just Java because that's probably where you were getting the issue uh, because it couldn't find it. Now um, you can configure these numbers here 
if you want to use less or more, like you guys could type in one. What that is, is only change the number though. Uh, what that is, is, you're telling it how much of your RAM you want to occupy while running the server. So if you have lots of RAM, you could, uh, like me, you could just add in three or whatever. I'm going to do that. And now you're good to save. So control S, exit out, get out of there. Now you should be good to try it again. So it should still work for me. There's no reason why it wouldn't because it worked before, but it should work again. Now, um, allow access if that pops up, I guess. Just firewall. So it's doing its thing. It's loading what it needs to load. There's the uh, actual spawn area, or the actual world being loaded for the first time right here and now. Now, it's part two, and that would be Hamachi. And uh, so I'm just going to exit out of here. Yeah, okay, whatever. And uh, what you're going to need to do here, I shortly went over this yesterday, so type in Hamachi into Google. And first link, on managed, right here, download now. Make sure you click on the conditions of use. So go ahead and download that and install it. You could pause the video now if you need to do so. And, all right, so let's pretend we just installed that. Here's log me in Hamachi. That's what it should look like. And uh, this is your IP address. That's going to be important. And you're going to go into networks right here. Create a new network. So network ID, tech it, test it, and put, type in your password, 123123. It could be anything you want. You know, this is how your friends are going to join your Hamachi, and that way you can play together. So make sure you remember this stuff because your friends will need that information as well. So go ahead and create it. And that's pretty much it. We can go back here into the tech server example. I'm actually going to load that for real this time. And while that's going, there's a few things you might want to edit in here. One, of course, is server.properties. So let's check that out. Um, difficulty, zero is easy, all the way up to three, which is hard. Uh, game mode, zero is survival, one is uh, creative. Max players probably don't need 20, so if you just set it to whatever you need. Um, Hamachi will only let you log in five people if you don't pay for it anyway. So that's really your max. Uh, for free, or uh, maybe there's a crack version, I don't know. Uh, spawn monsters equals true, whatever. Um, whatever you want. And that's pretty much it. Um, if for any reason you have a hard time, if you ever see an error code called error code 503 when you try to log in, just come back over here and switch that to false. Uh, and then play for a little while, but uh, you probably want to switch it back to true most of the time because if it's false, then anybody could easily log into your server. If, for example, you make, um, you know, if you want to have passwords or if you want to have a white list. So here's another thing you're going to want to do for yourself. Um, uh, don't save that. Let's just keep it the way it was for me. But do what you want to do. Also, go into ops, ops.txt right here, and this is where you want to add your account name. So I add Magus X, and that way there I actually have uh, the ability to type in commands for the server right in the game. And if you want to use creative mode and add items, you have to have this for any person you want that to work for. Um, all right, so that's that, that's that. Now what you're going to do in the actual game, this should be done now. Uh, done? Let's go see if it's done. So I have this going here, so let's load up Tekic. Do do do. All right, so we have Minecraft loaded. I shut off my texture pack just to make it run faster. And here's the server. You want to always keep this open, by the way, so don't shut that, just minimize. And here is Hamachi, and we just connected to that. So what you're going to do, go into multiplayer, and add server. And here, I believe the name itself does not matter. So, I mean, I don't, just, just to see that we don't have to name it the same as Tekic tested in our Hamachi, I'm just going to call it like that and server address now this does matter so we got to have the same address that's right here the first chunk of uh, numbers so 5.124.69 and by the way I don't use this uh, IP for my server so that's why I'm doing this here on this computer uh, 5. Blah, 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 that looks good done and look like that look at that you have the green bar that means you are G 2G and so you can just go ahead and join server and my spawn point is a big chunk of water. That's nice. So this is a brand new world. Uh, so right on. That's pretty much it. Now, if you want your friends to join, here's what they're going to do. Slightly different. So what they're going to do is they're going to go here into network. 
and they're going to click on join an existing network so that they need to have all the same stuff. So they need to have the premium account, the tech launcher. They don't need to have the, the tech server file and this folder here that we made just in this video, but everything else they need to have. So Java and all that fun stuff. And uh, so they're going to type in exactly what you made your thing of. So what was it? It was Techic, test it, and the password was 123 or something, 123, 123. So that's what they're going to type in. They're going to join, and then they're going to go into Minecraft as well, and they're going to do the same th thing here. They're just going to, you know, the same way I did it. Same way, add server, whatever, and then type in your five point, whatever it is, one, blah, 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 and then they're done. They could join. Now, if you want them to have the uh, the ability to create stuff, like I mentioned before, don't forget to uh, add them to the ops list. And uh, guys, have a fun time on Techic. All right, this has been Magus X. Then hopefully this is the issue that you had. If you still have an issue at this point, um, definitely contact me again, and uh, we'll go from there. Bye bye.